Coach Peters, big duel win tonight over Lock Haven. I've never been to Pitt, the University of Pittsburgh, but I'm pretty impressed. Now talk about what you guys are doing here, you know, to uh, to attract some of the top recruits. Like you got, you know, Nauman, you got guys like that. You got uh, Thomas Set. Yeah. And you're bringing in some top guys. You know, talk about what's going on here at Pitt, man. You know, we got some good kids that are buying into wrestling. They like to train, and we keep them here over the summer. Uh, I think I think that's what it is. You know, guys buying into wanting to do what we're asking them to do, and I think we're seeing some results out of it. So it's pretty exciting. All right, uh, very surprising. This is, you know, pretty much downtown right here. A little outside, what do you say, about two miles? Yeah, we're a little bit east of it, you know, of the downtown area, you know, but uh, Oakland's kind of its own little place. So it's it's where a place where the guys feel comfortable. It's not too much city, but it's enough that you get a lot of everything. So it's really good to recruit to. Okay, you guys are bringing in some, you know, young, strong talent here. What would you want some, you know, any, you know, besides Pennsylvania kids who know Pittsburgh, what would you want kids in, you know, Ohio, Jersey to know, you know, even Michigan for that matter? To, what do you want them to know about what's going on here at Pitt? We just got a great school, good bunch of guys. They like to work hard. Our staff's committed to getting better. Uh, I mean, we're just excited about wrestling. If you want to wrestle all the time, we like you. You know, I mean, really, that's what we're looking for. I mean, more of a necessarily what you did. We want successful kids, obviously we want kids that won state titles and win national titles, but we want kids that want to wrestle and guys that want to get after it and be physical and try to get better. Kind of the blue collar mentality. Yeah, I, just I heard enjoy you the process. Stadium. You know, Pittsburgh's a really blue collar town and I think the more you buy into that, the better you're going to be. I mean, the people will enjoy it. They'll come out and watch you. If you're going to stand in the on the edge and play that. I mean, they don't like you here, really. They, they don't. I mean, the fans, the Pittsburgh people, I mean, they're hard on the Steelers. They're going to be hard on the Panthers. <laughs> so, I mean, you got to deliver. you got to wrestle or they won't come watch. You guys are building a pretty, you know, the home matches here are, you know, it's pretty rowdy, man. You yeah, guys got you know, a good we're crowd. we're getting there. You know, we're getting there. I think it's the product. The guys are doing a good job, so people want to come out and see them, you know. And if they continue to do a good job and continue to fight and try to score points and get majors and build their lead, I think you're going to see more people come and watch us. Talk about the coaching staff. You guys have made a change recently. Uh, who'd you bring in? What's going on with that? You know, we uh, we made a change. Keith Gavin put more focus primarily into just his training, and we brought in his training partner from college, Matt Coker, who's been a great addition to our staff. Great kid. I've had the opportunity to coach him and now coach with him, so we have some similar philosophies, but he also brings some other things to the table that has helped us grow this year, so it's pretty exciting to have him on board. I was talking to uh, to a man. He was like, yeah, he was my teammate for two years, but he really knows how to push you. He actually tried fighting for a little bit, but now you know he's, he's coming back and he's a young, hungry guy. How important is it to have that young, hungry guy in the room, you know, beating the guys up and, you know, teaching them as well? I just think Matt has a great approach on it, you know, he uh, he's able to separate himself from the team, which I think helps, you know, being that Tomei and him were teammates, so they have a good relationship, but he separates himself where they still respect him enough that when he does ask something of them, they're going to give it to him and they're going to respond to what he's asking for, so I think he just, I mean, it's kind of like Matt's been here before, you know, I thought that about him when he was an, uh, an athlete of ours, and I think that about him as a coach. So, uh, I mean, it's hard to lose a national champ as your assistant coach and actually still have a quality guy doing a good job. So I don't think we lost any speed with that. And that's no disrespect to Keith because he's a great guy. He's done great things for us. But, you know, Keith's focusing on wrestling and trying to be Olympic champ. So I think his focus was better suited to do what he's doing right now. And hopefully one day we'll get him back here and he'll help us do this thing again. Are right, you got anything else for me? No, nah, I think we're good. All right, hey, Go thanks Panthers. for the time. Go Panthers. <laughs> yeah.